Hi YouTube, I am back. I am um, just taking a breather this week. I really needed it. Um, there is some things going on, you know, and I just have to just I have to listen to what I need right now. So that's why I'm taking, of course, the week off from the individual signs. But I'm going to do a checkup. And let's get into your person's thoughts. So before getting into your reading, think about the person, you know, that's been on your mind or that maybe hasn't. But we're going to get into their thoughts. No, it's not a cross-watching um, video, but... Hey, it's up to you. Everybody does it. No matter how many times a reader tells you. <laughs> um, even, and I bet even the cross-watching readings, you cross-watch yourself, you know. <laughs> so it doesn't even. Whatever um, you go with your feeling, really use your intuition, okay. Uh, always with any reading. Okay, so let's get started and we're going to get you some advice as well. Okay, let's start with Leo. Sorry, I moved my tripod. Let's start with Leo's. What do we have for Leo's spirit guides? What is a person thinking about Leo's? Mm, must have. Okay, so this person wants um something casual. Let's see. Give me more on this casual. Give me a clear message for this casual. Okay, so it must have started out casual between you and you two, but there is um, awakened love here. So we have let's be friends with benefits and leave emotions out of it. I feel like that is past energy because there is an awakening here. Uh, now I know and understand that I'm in love with you. So during this no communication phase, they've actually understood that they actually fell for you um let's see give me more of this casual sex for leo's person's thoughts yep um i feel like they wanted to be single they wanted to be single or leo's they just saw you very independent and they're very attractive oh yeah very attracted. There is a lot of attraction here. I feel like both of you. One is very um, attractive. I feel like both of you are attracted to each other. Um, that's why we have casual here. So it must have started casual. There's just bottom line here. <laughs> What's this awakened love about spirit lines? Leo's person's thoughts. Justice. So it must have started out this way. <laughs> and if you guys aren't talking, if they did something here, they want to do things right now. Okay. They want something serious. Okay. They want to become a thing, an item. Um, could be marriage. But they... <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, the challenge is to open up. Somebody here is not opening up. Somebody is probably closed off. Um, there's a door closed here. And it kind of seems like there's a feeling here that it's closed forever. Either they're thinking this or you. Okay. Um, but that's the challenge. And this is what's coming up. So it kind of feels like there is going to be some kind of awakening if they are not there yet okay um to this love let's see let's get your um your advice for leos i don't know why i wanted to say address <laughs> leos advice for this connection step out of your comfort zone Dating someone who's not your usual type is a step in the right direction. Release those fears and try to keep an open mind about the possibilities. So if you're thinking, maybe this is a closed mind here. If you're thinking that this can never go into something serious because it started out bad, it started out as casual, and you know what they say, you know, casual cannot go, you know, it's difficult to get into a real relationship once you started casual. Um, so 
keep an open mind because the possibilities are there and you can see them here okay so okay if this doesn't resonate wrong deck <laughs> this doesn't resonate check your um of course your moon ascended venus okay so let's get started oh i do have gemini libra it could be fire another fire sign a leo a virgo or earth okay so that is what i have let's keep going okay let's do next Aries. Okay, Aries. I forgot to mention, check your um, moon ascended, all your other placements, okay? <laughs> okay, Aries. What is this person thinking about, Aries, Spirit Guides? What's this person thinking about, Aries? Superficiality. Okay. Longing. Okay. So we have, um, it's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society. I'm kind of feeling a, an ego, ego thing here, a pride. So it's like, if their finds friend find out that you are Back, if they're back talking with you or they care more about what other people think and it's a pride thing uh an ego thing so uh, i don't like that card at all longing i'm longing for the other half i have lost but even with this pride they still long for you mm. it's just amazing that i don't like how I don't know. I just don't like that card. <laughs> but it's here. Let's get more into it and see what this is about. This superficiality for Aries person's thoughts. Wow. There is a strong connection there. But someone here, of course, is feeling out in the cold. Um really feeling uh, i don't know why i'm getting forgotten somebody here is probably not just not opening the door anymore i don't know why i'm getting um key key hold uh, the key holder i don't know why i'm getting that but it kind of seems like somebody won't give the someone else the key i don't know give me more of this longing So someone left someone else. Yeah. Sounds very cold. Aries, I don't know why I feel like it's you that's been cold, even though there is a strong connection. Um, you feel like you had to drop this burden. You po you're probably thinking a lot more logically right now. And I feel like you just had to drop it. Uh, this person was making you feel like there was just too much burden. Maybe there were the ones that were very cold, very distant, very stern with you. I don't know why I'm getting that. But it kind of seems like you are now. You're the one that's being. Even though you might even fall into those little waves where you are feeling like you you want this person. Because there is still a strong connection between you two. I feel like you both still feel it in spite of what's happened. So the challenge here is to start all over. The challenge is for somebody here to reach out. It's an olive branch. But I don't know. It kind of seems like someone here is just cold. Cold, cold, like um, it was like cold turkey. <laughs> like it just stopped from one day to another. It kind of seems like that. I don't know why. But let's see. What is your advice? What's Aries' advice in this connection, Spirit Lines? Who's initiating? Who's initiating? Less is more. Make sure both of you are putting in the same effort for now. When you talk, text, or meet, keep it short and sweet. Limit your contact until they 
they come to you for more so maybe you were putting in a lot more energy than they were um, because i do sense that this is your energy but even with that even you don't even care if you long for them at times you you still are probably gonna just lay down those burdens they gave you all the responsibility you initiated more and they were just too they didn't they kind of took you for granted i'm feeling for some of you anyway so that's what i see i see aquarius or it could just be air signs fire earth water it could be another fire sign okay so that is what i have hope that um resonated let's keep going sagittarius what do we have for sagittarius lines? What do we have for Sagittarius? What's this person thinking about Sagittarius? What's this person thinking about Sagittarius? What's this person thinking about Sagittarius? Damage. I don't know why, but I've first thing that came to me when this came up is that somebody here was wishing that they would have fought for this i don't know who that's for maybe they didn't there are some of you that this person did not fight for this i mean like didn't even speak up said anything they just shut off like they went on shutdown mode i don't know but uh maybe some of you of course going by the title um some of you of course they wanted to fight for this it says if i fight with you it's because i still care worry when i don't so of course those that this resonates for when somebody still engages in your arguments they still care okay just don't try it don't push it <laughs> so we have damaged before you date me, understand I'm a damaged and broken soul. For some of you, there's been arguments between you two, but this person has been carrying some kind of pain, wounds, could be anything here. Um, they have some insecurities, I feel, as well. So they feel like they feel insecure in love. So let's see what else we have. What's this fight? What is this Sagittarius person? Their person. What is fights here for? Mm, that, this one just popped out. See, I did feel somebody um, thinking about they wish they would have fought more for it. And they didn't. Their life is a mess. Their life was a mess. I feel like this person is just dreaming about you. You see all those cups. And then they're looking into this non-existent portal. Or it could be a portal, of course. But it's like they're looking into this. Um, um, well, she's not, not physically there. You know what I mean? So here I feel like they've been going through them something themselves which we have here let's see what is this damage so i feel like they want to come towards you but they're resisting it it's like they they are um something's keeping them from coming towards you and i feel that it's some kind of insecurity they feel broken damaged regarding something but what the reason i'm feeling this with the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles is i feel like this is you you are independent you're focused on you your mind body and soul they really look up to you you probably have more to offer because their life is a mess but they're they're having a hard time coming it's like they're fighting against the uh, grain because you know in water you can't really charge ahead and the cup is all the way over here this is a different deck so it's not the traditional 
Okay, let's see. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Um, I was going to shuffle some more, but I forgot. I'm only <laughs> taking out four cards for each sign. So they are. Okay, five of wands. Um, it's inner conflict. Inner conflict. They're a mess. Okay, so it can be um, different for everyone. They they are carrying out wounds. It does. It could be because of this um, connection or just past connections, or it could even be something else. So, but let's see. Of course, this is a four of wands and nine of cups. But of course, with these two together. It does say, suggest that this person is dreaming about being happy with you. Okay. But that's why I'm saying somebody here didn't fight for this. So now they're dreaming that they wish they would. For most of you, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's see. Advice for the person watching this. Sagittarius. I don't know why I said that. Advice for Sagittarius. Check your other placements if this doesn't feel like it resonates. Write it out and keep it. Keep charging forward. Don't run away just yet. Recognize that all relationships have their ups and downs. The tough times won't last forever. Let love prevail. Okay, don't run just yet. Okay, because this person is just having inner conflict. They're needing to heal. They're just resisting coming towards you. They don't have, I feel like they um, have some kind of insecurity as well. Okay, because their life is a mess. So, we have Pisces. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Virgo or just earth sign. Pisces again. Let's see. Let's keep going. Gemini. Let's see what we have for Gemini in this connection. What do we have for Gemini's in this connection? Friends? What is this person thinking about Gemini's? Sorry, wrong question. What's this person thinking about Gemini's? What's this person thinking about Gemini's? Somebody wants to make their move. That's the first thing that came. But I haven't read it yet. Yep, I told you somebody wants to make a move. Bottom of the deck, there could be some hot and cold um, energy between you two. They were hot and cold with you. Um, target. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. Yeah, they want to make their move towards you. Hmm. New beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. So let's see. What's this target? Spirit line? This person's thoughts towards Gemini. Why is target here? This person's thoughts towards Gemini. Why is target here? Wow. Again with the inner conflict. Okay. So this person has some, um, I feel like there's been petty arguments between you two. Some arguments um, going back and forth. There's been probably competition here or they've made you feel like there's some kind of competition. There, is, there, what, there probably was some arguments as well uh, regarding a commitment, doing something right, having a traditional relationship, marriage, something having a label i feel like this person most of all this person is have is strategizing but they're going back and forth here um because i do see the hierophant here with making all these formulas and kind of with the five of wands it's like mm, maybe i shouldn't because if this happens this happens if this happens then i get these consequences you know so they're kind of thinking of a way to start something new but maybe not even 
giving giving that label to it yet you know they're trying to figure things out basically i don't know how, i'm probably not explaining it right but that's the feel that i'm getting what's the new beginning doing here they've been stuck they want to clear the air with you but i feel like they've been stuck trying to strategize a way to come towards you because i feel like you are resisting to this this could be you resisting to it or somebody here is resisting to a new beginning with each other because it's this has happened before i feel okay but yeah see <laughs> i feel like it's you resisting this gemini uh bottom of the deck it could be you this is your um energy this is a challenge just to get through you because i feel like this has happened so you've put your foot down and said wait a minute i'm not so sure i want this ag again want this to happen again so they've been stuck they want to just forget about the past they don't want you to bring it up i'm feeling as well with that okay so let's see advice for gemini's in this connection spirit advice for gemini's Create a safe space. So this person doesn't feel safe. I know this card a lot because it comes out a lot. This this person, your partner, does not feel safe coming towards you um, because they're afraid of being judged if they open up to you. They feel being treated like they're wrong or broken. Um, if they come to you, be there and meet them. So it, your advice, if you still want this, meet them halfways kind of make them feel comfortable coming towards you but i feel like it's not more it's more of you not wanting to deal anymore with this person you know they could have been the type of going back and forth keeping you stuck so it's really up to you but if you, this is your advice if you still want this to work out is to make them feel comfortable coming towards you to talk openly instead of treating them or saying things out you know, sometimes when we're mad, we do talk out of our A's, okay? <laughs> I, I can admit that too because I'm a Gemini. But, you know, so that happens. And we're human. Anyways, I don't judge. <laughs> we have air signs, Pisces, Taurus, fire. And could be a Libra or just air signs in general, okay? Another air sign. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If this doesn't resonate, check your other placements. Okay, so let's see. Libra. Okay, if this doesn't resonate, Libra, check your other placements. Let's see, what do we have for Libra? What is this person thinking about Libra? What's this person thinking about Libra? Ooh, that just popped out. Too many. Give me... What is this person thinking about Libra? Inner conflict. What's this person thinking about Libra? Oh, okay. So this inner conflict is keeping this person restricted. We have inner conflict. My world is chaotic right now can't seem to think straight i feel restricted and confined by my by my circumstances so i feel like they're just restricting themselves um from love that could be for someone um but they could also be going through some kind of some kind of restricted circumstances you know um but I feel like it's more of an inner conflict stuck in their thoughts for most of you. Let's see. What is this inner conflict? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like it's more of work. It could be them or work. I don't feel like this is you. 
and they're wanting oh okay they're stuck um well i don't see it here but i feel like this person is trying to think of a way how to work themselves back into your life but they have this inner conflict things could be coming up life could be could getting in the way right now um uh, give me more of this restricted oh and this is judgment sorry i keep forgetting to see them anyways i use restricted here yeah restricted big time stuck in their thoughts about this um trying to i feel like this person is just trying to see what happens like oh let's let's see if it's meant to be it's meant to be but at the same time they feel so restricted like no how am i gonna go towards them i really want to i want to heal the situation i want to come around but how how and it's all about them because they're the ones holding this rope they're the ones that are keeping themselves restricted with this inner conflict wanting to um wake something up something that you thought was dead or they th they thought was dead is something has awakened here and they are having inner conflict so the challenge here is six of pentacles they wanting to re reach out make things equal or just want to know what you've been up to it's them reaching out or putting their focus somewhere else maybe there is also you know money um problems that they're having and they're putting their focus there so maybe life is interfering with this as well okay so we have earth we have scorpio aquarius air okay so that is what i sorry libras i forgot your advice but i'm getting your advice see what we have advice for libras what do we have for advice for libras in this inner conflict restricted person conflicted person spirit lines mm, I don't know. there we go okay write it out who else got this someone else got it Write it out and keep charging forward. Don't run away just yet. Recognize that all relationship. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Libras. Oh, my God. I I saw something kind of move um, on the corner of my eye. It kind of scared me. Anyways, um, don't run away just yet. Recognize that all relationships have their ups and downs. The tough times won't last forever. Let love prevail okay so the tough times won't last forever if there is really love there you know maybe this person has you know life has gotten in the way for some of you okay so so it's really up to you of course okay that's what we have for you thank you so much for watching if this doesn't resonate check your other placements okay, let's see Aquarius, what is this person thinking about Aquarius? What's this person thinking about Aquarius, Spirit Lines? Give me some clear messages for this person's thoughts towards Aquarius. Ooh. Okay. Someone's feeling vulnerable. Oh three's a crowd i don't like that card <laughs> okay we have love story a true love story never ends let's start a new chapter but how when three's a crowd i thought two was better than one but now i'm conflicted i'm torn okay so let's see what is this love story so they keep going back and forth not knowing what to do let's see maybe they i'm getting someone met someone new or there has always been someone there let's see what's this love story i don't know why i was getting that probably for someone yeah see someone here has been thinking about this aquarius i feel like you've been healing i feel like this is more of your energy give me one 
Ah, it's them thinking about this. They're in their head, um, going from one idea to another. They would love to start new with you, but they might have other things that they're engaged in, like, I don't know, dating someone else or someone else is in the picture. Let's see, what's this three's a crowd? But they're in their head about this. Um, it kind of seems like they're trying to make a... Oh, someone got in in between you two. So that's what's keeping them. And they're going back and forth. There's probably been like a cycle in and out of um, a cycle between you two. But with the Ten of Swords, somebody here interfered. And now they want to start all over with you. But they probably are thinking that you're healing from it. And you don't want to deal with this anymore. Let's see. That's what I'm getting. That they keep going back and forth not knowing what to do. Let's, what's a, give me more of this Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's taking a long time. The Knight of Pentacles wants to come in. Give me one in. Give me one Knight of Pentacles again. <laughs> it really wanted to come out. Um, it just popped out, but I put it back in because I wanted to pull it out. And there you go. I pulled it out. So they are taking forever because this person withheld something serious um, or a commitment or wasn't really offering you anything serious. And this person was hurting you there was probably somebody else in the mix that's why but they're taking forever to come towards you but it, and the reason why is because they know that they've hurt you they did a lot of damage here and you're probably healing so that's why they keep going back and forth not knowing if if they come towards you if you're even gonna accept them yeah i feel like you are gaining your your um power here i do feel that there was probably someone that came or someone's still there mm -hmm. someone is still there for some of you for others of you this person just wants to forget about the past because they do have a lot of attraction towards you you're gaining your power you've been healing you took your energy back from them mm -hmm. and you that's a challenge to see if you're going to accept them back. Because they did a number on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is what we have. I do see Taurus. I see air signs. Earth. Leo or just could be um, fire signs. I was going to say pride as well. Sorry Aquarius, I forgot your advice. But I'm going to get it. I want to be equal for everybody. So let's see. Aquarius' advice in this connection, Spirit Guides, with this person that wants to stir all over. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Who's initiating? Less is more. Make sure both of you are putting in the same effort for now. When you talk, text, or meet, keep it short and sweet. Limit your contact until they come to you for more. Okay. So that is um, pretty much the secret here <laughs> to this um, game of love. Um, if they're playing games with you or whatever, you know, try to initiate less. Uh, less is more. Let them, you know, let their hunter instincts kick in and want to actually you know decide on something firm and if they see that you're busy you have your own life that's even a plus okay don't stop your life for anybody you do you and you know um just play the game if they're playing games as well okay so if that's really up to you of course <laughs> thank you so much for watching okay um if this doesn't resonate check your other placements Virgo, what is this person thinking about Virgo's spirit guides? What's this person thinking about Virgo's? What's this person thinking about Virgo's? Wow, okay. Oh, love story. Who else just got that? 
Aquarius just got that. And isn't that your eighth house? I think it is. Oh no, it's not. Okay, anyways. We have um, rejection. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. Did you reject them or did you say something that um, made them feel little? You know, you belittled them or you said something that maybe really made them feel insecure. Just, uh, you know, it's a sense of re rejection. But they want to forget the past. It says, a true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. So this person wants to start all over with you. Let's see. What's this rejection? They want to change. What's this rejection? What's this rejection about for Virgo's person's thoughts? What's this rejection? Wow, this person is really in their feelings. Mm -hmm. They're... They are feeling this rejection. They're very unstable right now. They do want to mend the situation here. Their feelings are not... I feel like they're feeling it. They're going through it right now. Because they want to meet you halfway. They want to talk it out. They want to reconcile. Let's see. Give me more of this love story. Wow. Okay, so this person is going to come towards you. They really want an opportunity to be happy with you and start all over. But I feel like they're just going to come in and confuse the heck out of you. Because if you were strong enough to kind of let them go or reject them or, if, you know, had that courage. I feel like you took, you got that courage to let go of this. And now... They're confused about it and they're wanting to come in. See, look at that. Death. This is a challenge is to get over this or to change a situation around. But I'm getting more of this. Um, the challenge is to, you know, rise from this to mend it. Somebody here doesn't want it to, to end with a death card here. So we have a lot of Scorpio or somebody here is also resisting change, resisting transformation could be them so yeah there was an ending here there could have been a family we have a scorpio i see just water it could be or sagittarius oh let me get your your advice oh, did i get advice for the last one i forgot virgo let's see advice for virgo in this connection Stay open-minded. In order for you to recognize your potential, you've got to keep your mind open and be a little more flexible. They're not what you're used to dating. So stay open-minded of how you both can work things out. Maybe you're wanting it to go one way or you're... I feel like also somebody here, you're more of a communicator talking things out. Um... In, you know coming together and uh, to compromise but they're more of like showing you or they don't know how to talk or something i don't know why i got that but this is what i'm getting with this um it's your choice of course um let's see we have sagittarius scorpio leo it could be water in general mm -hmm. okay so that's what i'm getting if this doesn't resonate check your other placements Okay, let's keep going. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, Spirit Guides? What's this person's in, um, thoughts towards Taurus, Spirit Guides? What's this person's thoughts towards Taurus? What are their thoughts about Taurus, Spirit Guides? What are their thoughts about Taurus? Oh, Chaser. Let's see. Ugh. Three is a crowd. That's what we just got. Um, Aquarius got that. 
Chaser, if only there was a, a way I could make you feel my love. I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. So this person thought that maybe they could have their cake and eat it too. Now that you've probably left or... Yeah, you've probably left. Now they want to become the chaser. They want to come towards you. Let's see. What is this chaser about? If this doesn't resonate, check your other placements. Let's see. What is this chaser? Yeah, they're very conflicted. They want to chase you, but... Ooh, yeah, they're very conflicted about you. You're coming up here. Um, they really do miss how you used to do things for them. You used to be there. You used to be the go-to person, the ride or die. You would take care of your business and theirs, you know, like doing them favors, being there all the time. And you were probably the chaser at one point, I'm getting. But now they see your value in their life and they wish that you were still there okay what is this three is a crowd which i do not like let's see three is a crowd what's this three is a crowd for some of you someone here became yeah there could have been outside influences not just uh could be for some of you okay could be other people because there's other people here um talking in his ear so this person probably had other influence outside or probably other people that they were talking to dating apps you know um yeah that's not cool okay or maybe they thought that they could have you and keep dating somewhere else and now i feel like this person is actually turning their back on that and yeah there was a third party here for most of you okay but now they're they're torn they they don't know what to do they actually do want to work things out for others of you this person is very wounded and, and from on one side they do want to work things out and another side they just can't um so i'm getting a couple messages just take what resonates there so there was a learning lesson from this um of course they could be at a distance from you but i'm getting that there was actually no success here for both of you um both of you do not feel like there was even closure both of you don't or it could be just one but i'm feeling both there was no closure something just something seems like it ended but there was still un, um, unfinished business between you two okay so i do see taurus or it could be another taurus scorpio leo aquarius and earth signs fire signs okay and an earth earth sign did i say that let's get your advice sorry advice for taurus in this connection spirit guides advice for taurus advice for taurus Cut your losses and move on. It can be hard to move on, but if you're not feeling loved or valued, that what's the point? You're too good to be with someone who isn't sure of what they want. And this person doesn't know what they want. They have this inner conflict. They really do see the, your value, but um, are you giving too much? Um, are you being valued? You know, don't let them take you for granted. So that is your advice okay so that's what i have i hope that helped okay so let's see keep going check your other placements too capricorn what's this person's thoughts towards capricorn spirit what's this person's thoughts towards capricorn what's this person's thoughts towards capricorn What's this person's thoughts towards Capricorn? Okay. Okay. Love, hate. I'm angry, but I still love you. Just hate what you do. Apology. 
I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? Okay, let's see. What happened here? Why is this person thinking this about Capricorn? What's this person thinking about Capricorn? What is love hate here? Oh. Some, somebody here was holding off or somebody here was putting in the work. I don't know why I'm just getting someone was closed off because they were saving money or someone's just closed off and focused somewhere else that's what i'm seeing here i feel like this is a, almost the same energy like some someone wanted to work on this but then decided to kind of turn around it, it feels like it's you capricorn like you're focused on your work right now you've closed the door here and you're just done with this interesting okay let's see what is this apology yeah this person i feel like this is their energy this person wants to apologize because uh and they want to start all over right now i feel like they've been waiting for you we do have the four of cups or somebody here is feeling rejected because maybe you did close the door on them um, we have the four of pentacles, but to me, it's, of course, it's a closed door with chains. So I don't know if they're the ones that went on shutdown mode or it feels like it was you, but they want to come and apologize and offer you a new beginning here. It could come, um, unexpectedly I'm getting to, mm -hmm. like you don't see this coming, see but the problem here it could be you that you're just stable you're not you're focused on your own stability your own security it could be just you leveling up focused on other things instead of this already okay i don't know who i'm picking up on so if this doesn't re resonate check your other placements let me get you advice capricorn capricorn's advice in this connection Capricorn's advice in this connection. Rebuild the trust. So the trust was lost. It won't happen overnight, but with effort, patience, being loved, and remaining hopeful, trust can be rebuilt. Okay? So it's really up to you. It's not easy rebuilding trust. I've been there and it's not easy at all, especially with if, well, I'm an air sign. Air signs, it's really <laughs> difficult with air signs. So I don't know if you're dealing with an air sign, but I don't see air here. Um, but if they're willing to rebuild the trust, that's really up to you. So we have, it could be another earth sign. I do see a lot of earth, fire, water. Okay. So let's keep going. It could also be, yeah, another earth sign. Sorry let's keep going okay. Pisces okay what is this person thinking about Pisces spirit line? what's this person thinking about Pisces what's this person thinking about Pisces what's this person thinking about Pisces Okay, I feel like this is the Four of Wands. Divinely guided. This relationship is being divinely guided and protected. So I feel like this is not even their thoughts. I feel like this is a message for you, Pisces. Like, Spirit really wants you to know that you're divinely guided. Don't worry, okay? It's already, you know, if you've been praying here, it's already done. You know, you don't have to worry about it um, because we have celebration. Having you in my life is worth celebrating every day. Wow. I feel like it's new energy. Um, new energy, of course, with the person that you're thinking about. 
coming through there is going to be a big shift already you know um big shift okay so let's see give me more on divinely guided for pisces spirit guides person they're thinking about yeah there is someone it could be someone at work or somebody here i never related to work but I feel of course somebody here is willing to work things out with you oh yeah whoa what happened there was a third party here um or just heartbreak heartbreak because somebody here was putting in the work and the other one wasn't or i'm also sensing somebody didn't like rules two of wands somebody wanted to be out there and explore hmm i feel like pisces you're the one that is waiting for your ships to come in but it's not ready yet it's not ready yet there is something here that you're probably hmm needing to look at whatever you're thinking about whoever you're thinking about you're needing to look at it closely i'm getting to um or learn from it because i feel like this is a hermit um somebody that is you know trying to learn from something things are going to turn around in your love life um pisces i don't even feel that this is somebody that you're thinking about i feel like spirit really wants you to know that after this heartbreak if you just wait explore enjoy learn get into something go travel if safely of course things will turn around in divine timing okay with the will of fortune here somebody will come into your life you're being protected if you've been hurt recently with the three of swords if left a mess learn from it because that's what i'm getting with this i don't know why things will turn around look at that divine timing and i didn't even look at this um but it, you're you're being divinely guided this is probably not going to resonate with everybody so check your other placements but that's what we're, what i'm getting here it's interesting hmm. okay let's see there's going to be celebration. Somebody here probably coming in is just taking a while. Um, and they're going to be happy. You know, they're going to see you as maybe even winning the lottery, the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Give me more of um, advice for Pisces, Spirit Lines. Advice for Pisces. Okay heal your inner child wounds interesting because i said this is a hermit so the hermit does bring like um healing learning from them or you know being uh, going um inward and just dealing with reflecting dealing with whatever you need to deal with uh, when you bring the this inner child into view you can start to see how you can limit yourself from experiencing and cultivating healthy re healthier relationships okay so that is what i'm getting for you is very different so it's not going to resonate with everyone okay i do see a sagittarius um fire earth air or it could also be a fixed sign here a scorpio taurus leo aquarius i never do that but there is some that i sometimes i do feel it could be that i'm also seeing the initials a b e d okay okay so and it could be an aquarius too okay that is what i have check your other placements if this doesn't resonate okay let's see scorpio let's see what we have for scorpios spirit lines what is this person thinking about scorpios this is my oh no that was my last one what's this person thinking about scorpios spirit lines what's this person thinking about scorpios what's this person thinking about scorpios 
twin flame. Give me more. Waiting. Ooh. Somebody you've been dealing with, Scorpios. We have divine timing. So somebody here is just waiting. Time could be a, a challenge here. Somebody's losing patience. Um, and it could be them because they're the ones that are waiting. Okay, so twin flame. I remember who you are. I've lo loved you before. Waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. Okay. It hasn't been easy. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. What are their thoughts? Why is Twin Flame here? Twin Flame and Two of Cups comes out. Let's see. What are their thoughts? Why is Twin Flame here for Scorpio's person's thoughts? Yep. Well, this person wants to move. It kind of seems like they feel torn. Like they actually... F I feel like this person is kind of um, fronting that they're moving forward, but they're not. You're, you're probably thinking that they're moving forward. Oh, sorry. Most of you, this person is waiting and thinking that you're moving forward. And they're heartbroken all over this. This is you moving forward, Scorpios. Hmm. That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm also sensing that maybe you are gaining your strength back from a heartbreak from them. But I don't know why they're waiting. Why are they waiting for Scorpios, Spirit Lines? Yeah, they're waiting for things to turn around. <laughs> Whoa. They want to clear the air. They probably feel rejected because they do see you moving forward. And they didn't expect that from you. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, they do see you rising from this heartbreak. And they're, that's why they're waiting for things to kind of smooth over maybe. And they have this sense of rejection. Or there was probably some rejection or a missed opportunity here. They're feeling like this is going to be a missed opportunity. Because they, they feel that you've changed. Like you're actually moving forward. I feel like this is you. For most of you, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. That's interesting. Let's see what is their... Um, your advice. Sorry, Scorpios. I needed a pause to get some water real quick um let's see what do we have for scorpio's advice in this connection spirit guides weather the storm so there was a storm between you two i feel like you, you still feel that scorpio for some of you you still feel that heartbreak but you might be fronting because that's what i was tr trying to pick up on but it was actually you for some of you okay but you're moving forward from it though we have weather the storm storms pass on their own if you let them it's easy to love them in the good times but it's just as important to love them in the bad restore your faith in love so maybe you don't even have faith in this anymore i feel like there is some resistance here to clearing the air with them for some of you okay I do sense that they are waiting for you, Scorpio, though, but it might be a missed opportunity, okay? Things will be turning around, or there's going to be an opportunity to, to clear the air, but there's a missed opportunity here, okay? So it's really up to you. Um, I don't know why I'm getting time is, is, is in the essence, or I don't know that quote. Anyways, we have water, cancer, air um sag or a scorpio a leo a virgo i'm getting virgo i don't know why um libra leo taurus okay okay it, check your other placements if that doesn't resonate okay 
Okay, last one, Cancer. Let's see what this person is thinking about Cancer, Spirit Guides. What is this person thinking about Cancer? What's this person thinking about Cancers? If this doesn't resonate, check your other placements. What is this person thinking about Cancers? Oh no, that's come up three times tonight. Gift, okay. They're torn. We have three as a crowd. I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. I have um, gift. Here's a small token of my love. So somebody here wants to come towards you, gift you something, or take you out. A gift could be anything. It could be time. It could be a date. It could be, um, I don't know, anything. Anything that you put energy into. So it could be something small, a small gesture, text, something. Let's see. What's this? Three, three is a crowd. So somebody here liked exploring, going out in the the dating scene, or even just traveling, doing their own thing. But that, I feel like, crashed and burned. <laughs> they have gone through a transformation. There was other influences. It could be anything here, but I'm feeling like it was... There was just... Um, they wanted to be out there exploring, uh, maybe on dating sites, but... They came to this, I feel like they came to this um, energy where they want to change, but they're torn about it. They don't know if they should go out and explore, um, ex find new, you know, go through new experiences. Let's see, give me more of this gift. I feel like they're looking towards the future um, for some of them. Give me more of this gift, but they're not, they don't know if they should wow hmm. something here ended okay because there was a third party cancer um there was outside influences of course disappointments mind games um they weren't telling you everything there was pride there was ego there was um and it kind of seems like both of you are hurt um they're a little bit more damaged or it could be vice versa but there was so much hurt so much it was major disappointment here and i feel like they want to apologize with the gift here because we are clarifying that but they know that they it ended because of valid reasons you, um your emotions were are always valid but i feel like your emotions really have it, it just they know that they did you wrong big time but that crashed and burned i'm getting too so it, it kind of just backfired i'm getting because that's the first thing that came to me when i got the death card out which yeah that's what i'm feeling um the hanged man so someone here is stuck I feel like they are looking at things differently. That's why they want to apologize because they know they've realized what they've done. But um, use some discernment because I'm not, I don't know if they've actually have changed. Okay, use discernment. This person did, did wrong. Yeah, and you probably have walked away from this, but you keep looking back okay cancer so we do if this doesn't resonate check your other placements let's get you some advice for those that do resonate with this what is this person um cancer's thought i mean cancer's advice sorry what is cancer's advice what is cancer's advice sorry i live next to an airplane i mean airport and you could probably hear that You gave them your best. Now it's time to give it to yourself. See? If the relationship is starting to feel like you're trying too hard to make it work, it may be a sign your relationship isn't meant to last long. I feel like 
they knew that you would the giver you were always there you wanted this to work out but it was a very big disappointment for you but okay now it's time to give it to yourself that's what i have here okay because that's spirit's advice and like i said use discernment because they still i feel like they're still with their mind games it could be for some of them for some of you okay use discernment so we have scorpio we have water air um fire pisces water in general okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and i'll be back later take care of you bye